in Manchester City. City haven't lost two successive games this season. The odds seem stacked against the home side today, but after Stockport's win on Tuesday night at home to the league leaders, Ronnie Moore's men know their visitors are human after all. Nick Dawes knows all about that type of shock result. He was part of a Berry side who beat City in the first division at Main Road a few years ago. That, though, was the season City were relegated. And Dawes takes his place in a side which has barely differed all season. Only 18 different players have started for Ronnie Moore this campaign. Injuries to Rob Scott and Marvin Bryan allow Stuart Talbot and Guy Branson an opportunity, while Chris Sedgwick is preferred to Mark Robbins, who's on the bench. Sean Goater may have feared that he too would be on the bench today after he became the 10th different City player to be sent off this season in defeat at Stockport. But the 30-goal former Rotherham hero does get the go-ahead at a club where he spent seven seasons. Goater is today partnered by Darren Huckabee, who is rested in midweek, allowing John Mack in a first start. Sean Wright Phillips, who picked up a dead leg injury, is fit to play, while Danny Tiato has failed to make it. Ail Berkovic makes a welcome return to the midfield after a five-game absence. Today's referee, Dermot Gallagher, has only had to send off one player domestically this season in a Premiership fixture between Blackburn and Arsenal. Paul Hurst, 12, Stuart Talbot, 10, Paul Warren, 17, John Mullin, 11, Nick Dawes, and where it waits, Chris Swales. Miller substitutes, 13, Ian Gray, 7, Mark Robbins, 29, Richie Parker, 20, Andy Monkhouse, and Chris Speech, where's the number two? The news match officials, match referee Mr. Gallagher, assistant referees Mr. Brand and Mr. Bannister. This afternoon's fourth official is Mr. Fletcher. Miller's mascots, 11 years of age, Dominic Kavanagh, 12 years of age, Jonathan Kavanagh, and both four years of age, Anne McCallum and Sam Clark, and Manchester City mascot, the Gallagher, 7 years of age. So style goal and a late deflected Ali Bernabe a shot defeated Rotherham 2-1 at Main Road this season after the visitors led there Kevin Keegan would admit Ronnie Moore's team one of the most impressive performers against his side this campaign and City know it could be just as tough today Sean Goethe claiming an early corner referee giving a free kick Biggest crowd this season has been 9,000 here at Millmore. It certainly looks as though it will be the biggest crowd of the campaign. And hardly surprising with the visiting support that Manchester City bring to away fixtures. Rotherham have the first corner of the contest. And it will be a confident start for them if they can at least test Manchester City with it. atmosphere as you'd expect and perfect playing conditions and an easy clearance for Nicholas Jensen here's Darren Huckabee good turn from Huckabee but some good tackling back by Warren 
Liverpool, but then on the chase, but Stuart Pearce with a typically dangerous challenge. Backward header, and uh, Nash did his best to keep it on, and the assistant said that he succeeded in doing so. There's a noticeable slope, which uh, seems to be going from the left to the right as we look at it. So if uh, anybody does have an advantage, it's uh, Manchester City downhill in the first half. Not too much wind, though, to uh, assist the players, or indeed hinder them. Here's Kevin Horlock. That could be a good tackle from Chris Swales. And an equally effective one from Talbot. First touch for Al Berkovic. Now Ali Bernabia. Carried out of it by Mullen. The ball then breaking for Nick Dortz. It's not a bad ball either, and the offside flag has thwarted Lee as he uh, seemed to escape the clutches of the back line. Alan Lee didn't know the flag had gone up. But uh, a quick glance to the right told him all he needed to know. Howie looking towards Gota. Up goes Horlock. Gota looking again. A foul on the back of Gota. And a free kick to Manchester City. Branston, the offender. at the back of Gota, it was a sort of forearm on the back of his neck. Stuart Pearce and Ali Bernabia hovering over it, Steve Howey just by the penalty spot. But it uh, looks as though it's going to favour Pitts. Looking for the hundredth goal of his career, but not on this occasion. Chance for Rotherham to break. They have three men in that break as well. Sean Wright Phillips coming back, and that is a terrifically timed challenge from a player who we all know how good he is coming forward, but this season has shown how good he is going back too. Richard Dunn has given away a call. Plenty of early encouraging signs for Rotherham United. Big players to aim for from the high ball swung in. Four of them loitering by the penalty spot, tying in their runs now. And a good header by Pierce, halting McIntosh. There's plenty of heights in the Rotherham side. Branston, Swales, McIntosh all staying in the box for the throw. Nick Dawes winding it up. Got the back of Howie's head and was gathered in by Nash. What a bit of a scare. Nash then tried to prompt Huckabee away, but uh, rather him on the counter, thwarted by an offside flag. It was Steve Howey's back header, really. He was trying to clear it, just flicked off the side of his head, really, and Nash gathered. Gota beaten to it by Swales, forward by Jensen to Gota, who then tried to find Berkovic, but Nick Dawes tackle it. Clearance wasn't the most effective, but Rotherham can still attempt to build. Here's Howitt. Berkovic 
followed everywhere by Nick Dawes, who this early stage looks as though he's doing a man-to-man -man marking job. It was Kevin Horlock there who uh, got away with that miss-hit pass. Huckabee finds Jensen. Jensen looking for Huckabee, away by Swartz, headed on further by Dortz. Horlock, Berkovic, Benabi are beaten to it. Pierce with the up and under, Benabia well and truly muscled out of it by Swales and Huckabee will pick up the loose one. And he was fouled. Chris Sedgwick penalised. Ali Benabia with a free kick, Sean Goethe surrounded by three Rotherham defenders. Steve Howey has come up as well from the back. That's two is Richard Duck. Too close to Mike Pollitt, who gratefully accepted the first opportunity for him to get a feel of the ball with the gloves, really. Dunn and Lee tussling. Irishman got the better of him, but uh, in the end it was a chance for Warren to break and Wright Phillips made an important intervention for Manchester City. Here's Goethe. Giving it away though. To Mullin. Here's Branston. Goethe's tackle was terrifically well timed. Surface is very dry and bobbly and Defenders will have to judge back passes and clearances. Nice play there by Sedgwick, and uh, he thought about maybe making the headlines tomorrow morning, but never really got any power or accuracy on the shot. Here's Berkovic from Manchester City. Jens Huckabit. Two with Jensen. He's cross though picked off by Swartz. Here's Sedgwick. Huckabee getting back at him, and indeed Huckabee has won it back. Here's Horlock. Huckabee is looking lively in the opening few minutes here. He was fouled, and Manchester City have another free kick. But uh, he's made a good start in this opening nine minutes or so, Darren Huckabee. Sedgwick, too, has uh, looked quite promising coming forward. His run was good. The shot struck Howie before it could do any real damage. <laughs> Manchester City free kick. Here's Berkovic. Benabia looking for Jensen. Rotherham looking for an offside call. It didn't come. Howie won the header. Here's Huckabee. Muscled out of it rather by Talbot. Pierce to Berkovic. Berkovic looking for the one-two, but Horlock has overplayed it. He is very much in the running for Manchester City's player of the season, which, uh, when you think of the likes of Bernabia, Berkovic and co, is no mean feat. Berkovic there, not quite on the same wavelength as Kevin Horlock on that occasion. hitting it. Grateful that McIntosh was in the right position. Right Phillips hooking it over his shoulder and out for the throw for Rotherham. Lee jumping. Horlock then tussling. Hurst getting the ball. And Mullin trying the shot, which... He hit off balance, really, and was never going to trouble Carlo Nash, but worth having a go. Oh, 
offside against Al. Well, there was in the end. <laughs> the offside fight didn't go up at first. And then when Darren Hooker he brought it under control and started charging forward, the flag did go. And the assistant is uh, just in front of Ronnie Moore, who is making his feelings more than well, truly known to the assistants on the near side. Indeed, the fourth official has just gone to tell everyone to calm down a little. jumping into his man rather there. Stuart Talbot getting the verdict. And I suspect Ronnie Moore will be relatively pleased with the way his side has opened up the game here. Once again, going to wind up the long throw. McIntosh and Branston have made their way upfield, but Gota had gone back, as he often does for Manchester City in those situations. Here's Berkovic. And now Horlock, combining with the Israeli and setting away the former England fullback. Piers looking for or in finding Benabia. It was a good ball by Piers. Benabia just about got in front of his marker. And it was a presentable opportunity for Ali Benabia, but he couldn't really knock it beyond Mike Pollitt, who had a comfortable save in the end. Here's Lee at the other end. How he got the foot in, but Nash succeeds in keeping it off. taking his time before uh, deciding on what to do with this uh, dead ball situation. Eventually picks out Sean Goethe, but uh, after all of that, it was a good win by Brans to chase on for Pierce, but he does well. Karen Keegan is giving out the directions. I wonder if the shock of Tuesday night's incredible defeat at Stockport has sunk in yet. County fan uh, was saying to me at the end that uh, rather made up for going down beating Manchester City on Tuesday. Free kick to the visitors, they've had a few and haven't really tested uh, Rotherham's defence yet. to work to move though and Berkovic has time to pick out a target and he has done Bernabia and in the end Bernabia couldn't decide whether to control or to volley and in the end he did neither it was a well worked free kick straight off the training ground and planted onto the field here at Millmore with Berkovic pivotal and his pass almost picked out Bernabia but uh, Bernabia couldn't bring it under control or indeed put the shot away Gota. And now they're keeping it on. Lukovic had made the run forward, but it's a good block by Branston. Here's Huckabee. Away by McIntosh. Manchester City definitely retaining more of the possession, but none of them have been just as incisive when they've gone forward. Lukovic, that's not the best ball he's played, but now he will retrieve, and Nash will clear, but that bobbly surface... Uh, oh, and uh, 
in the end Steve Howie's cushioned header which uh, was cool and relaxed uh, almost uh, caused a tremendous embarrassment to Carlo Nashen himself it really is a bobbly surface and uh, goalkeepers are going to have to be very careful when they judge those back passes well uh, Perkovic tried to play Huckabee away here's Wright Phillips space for Huckabee down the right still Huckabee and he went for goal and it's easy for Pollitt the Manchester City nearly uh, caused their own downfall here back pass to Carlo Nash look at it bobbling all over the surface and Nash completely miskicked it Howie with a, just the calm header good job his goalkeeper's over six foot five inches tall say they'll know what they were doing away by McIntosh right Phillips with a header and now will be a trying to muscle Hurst out of it finds Gota Branston again with another hefty challenge on Gota and he's done well in that little duel here's Lee Trying to get the better of Dunn, but Dunn has pickpocketed him. Here's Benavia. And uh, the referee didn't like the challenge of Torbert. And indeed, Torbert will become the first man to have his name in the book. Benavia has stayed down. but the first yellow of the contest for this challenge <laughs> done with a free kick aimed towards Gota tried to bring in Bernabia good intervention by Talbot Lee trying to keep it on but doesn't succeed Manchester City throw Steve Howitt again aiming towards the head of Gota but once again Branston has done well at his back right Phillips doing his best to keep it on and he has succeeded but Hurst uh, stuck well to the task and then Wright Phillips fouled Talbot. Referee happy that no card needed to be brandished. McIntosh looking towards Lee, headed away by Dunn, helped away further by Horlock. And finally, Bernardi are trying to bring some sort of control to proceedings. Hurst to take the throw. Got a bad ball in by Warren and eventually evaded everyone, really. Sedgwick did his best to hurl himself at the ball. Teasing ball in by Warren good turn as well but uh, some good defending by uh, Jensen Huckabee challenge on him was a good one by McIntosh Jensen Good ball to Huckabee, but uh, Branston, and not for the first time in the game either, with a timely challenge. The ball has actually stayed in play. And Berkovic is happy to retrieve. And now the offside flag has been raised. Perhaps Sean Goto is the furthest man forward. Uh, Al Berkovic put both hands on his head in disbelief at that call. 
be beaten to it by Swales. Gota. Jensen. Berkovic. Gota's made the run and Berkovic saw it. And then in the end, Gota and Jensen not quite working out what the other was going to do. by Pierce then picking out Huckabee and Swales again sticking out the leg Berkovic to Benabia leaving it for Berkovic Pierce finding Horlock now Berkovic once more and Wright Phillips was his intended target and the play by Hurst now Warm Lee trying to make the run here is Lee, Pierce has gone with him, and Lee's control has ultimately let him down. It was a good run from him, and it was well seen by Ward. but uh, he couldn't lay it into the path of right Phillips but rather would have squandered possession equally as easily done under pressure from Lee and indeed Lee has forced the threat for the runners, but uh, Huckabee has been flagged offside. Again, not totally convinced uh, that that was the correct decision. He seemed to come from quite deep when he made that one, but uh, anyway, the flag went up. trying to get the better of Dunn and then he did and the referee is happy that the challenge on him was perfectly legal play on there for here's Sedgwick nice exchange of feet but in the end Steve Howey managed to drill it away Doors ready to wind up another long throw Wales has made his way to the near. McIntosh has gone into the centre. Wright Phillips and Dunn between them sorting it out. And Benabia to clear, but eventually he's caught. Here's Warren now. And Nash gathers it in. That's good play by Swales as Benabia tried to play his way out of trouble. Go to them winning it back from Manchester City from Sedgwick. Jensen knocking it out of play so that uh, treatment can be administered to Al Berkovic. Berkovic only just back from an ankle injury. This was where he picked up his injury. Just the way he landed, I think.
Nice flick on by Gota, but uh, Huckabee couldn't get there. Here's Gota, laying it into the path of Bernabia. Away by McIntosh. Nice layoff by Lee, but the offside flag thwarts Warren. Kevin Keegan are looking a little concerned because now Berkovic is in some trouble on that far side and having only just come back from injury, it would appear he might be back on the treatment table again. Poor clearance by Pollock, meanwhile. Warren with a header. Talbot chasing. The Ensign's lost out. Here's Sedgwick. Targets to aim for for Sedgwick, but Nash should claim it, although he was impeded by his own player, Richard Dunn. And Nash has a good long look at Richard Dunn and says, hey, that's my ball. <laughs> Stuart Pearce from Manchester City. Away by McIntosh. Paul up looking but not getting. Huckabee now. Good foot in by McIntosh. Right Phillips. Duck. Ali Bernabia. Manchester City down to ten men just at the moment. As they prepare a substitute for Al Berkovic. Huckabee. Pollock, right Phillips. And he too has gone down in a heap after a challenge on him by Dawes. And I think Dawes is having his name taken now. of activity on the sidelines it looks as though Sunshine is uh, going to them be the man who comes on to replace Al Berkovic Pierce will take the free kick aimed towards Bernabia reaches Darren Huckabee and a foul by Huckabee and a free kick to Robert seen that many times before in his career I wonder if he's seen Sun Shihai before this is the third time that he'll have been introduced as a sub since arriving for two million pounds the Chinese international and he's taken the place of Al Berkovic Sunshine. Foul oh, by him on late. Now Berkovic receiving running repairs on the sidelines and will obviously take no further part today, but perhaps more concern will be if he'll take any more part this season. Away by Pollock. Headed on by Pierce to Bernardia. It's a poor one from him. Sedgwick with time to pick out a target, and instead he's found Steve Howie. Here's Sean Gota. Branston at his heels. Gota doing well. Sunshine. Good ball. Picks out Kevin Horlock. Ali Bernardia. And now Jensen. 
Huckabee. Put in by Swartz. Sunshine has gone into the right wing back position and Sean Wright Phillips has moved infield to go alongside Ali Bernabe. Huckabee. Sedgwick. It's a teasing ball. Lee will attack it. And he'll head it over the bar. Nice hanging cross from Sedgwick. One for centre forwards to attack. And Alan Lee did so. Hung it up there, Sedgwick. Difficult one to defend against, swirling away from the goal. Over the top by Lee. Gota again comes to be beaten to it by McIntosh. The aerial route is rarely succeeding for Manchester City. Here's Huckabee. Swales has come across with him, and this time Huckabee's got the better of him. The flag has stayed down, the ball has stayed in. Still with Huckabee. Looking towards Sean Gota, but Pollitt uh, pounces on the loose ball. And the opportunity goes. from Huckabee in the end he was very disappointed he couldn't pick out Gota Branston away by Sunshai Pollock and now Jensen Huckabee shown for Jensen Gota's made the run forward here is Huckabee Pollock then winning it back. Now right Phillips, Sunshine on the right hand side. Trying to tease Hurst into a challenge and in the end loses out to Warren. Another and throw. I'm sure we'll be seeing plenty of this fella in the summer's World Cup. Phillips can't keep it on. Well, in fact, uh, he did at first. It was only the second ball that he couldn't keep it. Not in the throw eventually. Watching the last ten minutes of the first half and not too many goal-scoring opportunities and in many ways uh, a back pass that went wrong is the closest we've come to a goal. Pollock, Gota. Marby has made a terrific run and Goat has tried to pick him out but unfortunately for him and for him he didn't succeed in doing so forward, Pierce in the way Orlock picking up the loose ball here's Jensen, now Bernabia well won by Dawes, here's Lee, Howie at his back, Pierce just to the side of him and uh, the cross went to Orlock
McIntosh with a terrific header, Warren chasing, and he tried to push it towards Lee, but Howie was there. Wright Phillips, now Sunshine. Played it towards Bernabe, it reaches Horlock. Huckabee, go to up ahead of him. Now Bernabia. Horlock might think about it. He did. Wishes he hadn't. He does have a terrific left foot, Kevin Horlock, and he scored some important goals this season, but never really was threatening with that one. Gota looking for Bernabia. Nice play by Tor that brings in Swales. Sedgwick hugging the right hand touch line, but Jensen was there. That's an untidy game, but it suit Rotherham, who are just edging themselves almost point by point towards that 50 51 point margin, which will see them in the first division for another season. They get a lot for war. It's away by Sunshine. Here's Bernabia towards Wright Phillips. Gota can't get there either. Dawes did. Away by Duck. That side flag was raised anyway. And Manchester City have a free kick. aiming towards Gota. Here's Huckabee. Backing in, says the referee. Another free kick. Oh, he judged it well, but... Warren will keep it on, at the very least it'll be a rather in corner if he doesn't, he's opted to keep it in play, here's Sedgwick, couldn't get the better of Jensen and then he just ankle tapped Jensen and he'll be booked now for kicking the ball away in anger. A foolish booking really, and the referee, well he just wasn't hesitating, straight to the pocket. It wasn't for the foul he committed, which he committed there. It was for kicking the ball away, which he did there. Well, Kevin Keegan will tell you that evenings at Edgley Park and afternoons at Millmore have to be safely negotiated if you're going to reach the likes of Stamford Bridge and Old Trafford. Evenings at Ashley Park didn't quite prove to be as uh, safely negotiated as it hoped. And afternoons at Millmore are never easy. Just ask every team apart from Wolves, Crystal Palace, and Nottingham Forest. Manchester oh. City are finding rather a, a tough old nut to crack as they did at Main Road. them well drilled and they have a throw to defend against Jensen guides towards Gota which is Bernabia not too many choices for Bernabia and indeed in the end he's penalised for a foul
this is exactly the kind of game that Ronnie Moore would have had in mind before start of play. Good stout defensive display. And he stopped Manchester City's flowing passing game. He'll be more delighted that Al Berkovic has gone off as well. One less player to worry about. Here's Lee. He's won a corner, has he? Well, the assistant is pointed to the corner. The referee's said goal kick. And uh, in the end, the referee's been overruled by his assistant. And it is indeed a corner. Alan Lee's cross. And, uh, well, the assistant was certain that that was a corner. And the referee, who has been overruled, had made the right call. Anyway, corner it is, and if Manchester City should go a goal behind, well, it won't be a, a very pleasant uh, set of words that come their way. Well, indeed, it came to nothing after all of that, but uh, the assistant on the far side had uh, rather benefited from that decision. Nigel Bannister's call. If that had become a Rotherham goal, goodness only knows what Steve Howey might have said. <laughs> Talbot looking towards Warren. Nice footwork from Ward. Here's Dawes. And Lee is offside. to the last minute now of the first half. And uh, obvious push by Sean Gota on Branston. And a free kick to Rotherham. <laughs> a nudge by Pierce. Free kick to Rotherham and a chance as stoppage time is almost upon us for them to give themselves the perfect half-time team talk. McIntosh, Swales, Branston, Lee. All close to each other by the penalty spot. And Nash is the tallest and it reaches Warren and Nash was there and off the line by Horlock and slammed in by Lee. touch after Carlo Nash had stopped them twice really, Horlock off the line, Lee with a rebound so many targets to aim for Nash felt he had to come off the line, the post and Lee fired it in and our Manchester City heading for two defeats in five days that they will look back upon with great embarrassment should they occur. Plenty to think about because his side haven't looked impressive and haven't created many opportunities. Well, Rotherham have been extraordinarily good this afternoon. They've defended well from the forwards backward, if you see what I mean, and every player has done their job. And Manchester City have uh, maybe dominated possession, 
but have rarely had that incisive touch. And from the set piece, Rotherham have always looked threatening. Foul on Horlock, who thought that he cleared the danger when Lee then fired in the rebound. Two minutes of added time now complete and get ready for some terrific noise here around Millmore as they await to cheer their heroes off. It may only be half-time, but a huge standing ovation round the ground already. Ronnie Moore applauds the fans, Alan Lee takes the plaudits. His goal separates the sides at half-time and Manchester City, who lost 2-1 at Stockport, now trail 1-0 at Rotherham.
it's released. On the 8th of April, it will cause a stir, I assure you. And again, another exclusive play, Matt Darling. Forthcoming fixtures at Millwall, Monday, 25th of March, Avon and Shortland's Premier League, Millers against West Bromwich Albion, kick off time, 2 p.m. Monday, April the 1st, Nationwide, League Division 1, Millers against Millwall, kick off time, 3 p.m. Now let's go, return pitch side, Avon and Shortland's Premier League, Millers against 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 Millers through a Chris Swales goal but ultimately lost 2-1 so I'm sure Ronnie Moore will say that the job is far from done just yet the game plan has worked very well indeed and 
Manchester City have looked anything but the fluent scoring team that they have been very much uh, described as throughout the campaign. They only scored one goal in the last two matches. It was enough to beat Palace, not enough to get anything at Edgeley Park. They'll need at least one today. Here's Richard Dunn. That's Sunshine. Right by McIntosh. Sunshine is going to take the throw. Towards Gota, away by McIntosh. Played further by Warren. Lee tried to sell the dummy, and indeed Steve Howey has bought it. And John Mullen is away to the right-hand side, but Lee has put his head down, rather. Now he's looked, and there's a chance for Sedgwick, and Sedgwick got sort of over the top of it and hit the base of his studs, really, and didn't trouble Nash. Here's Benabia, trying to find Huckabee, but the flag went up. And I wonder what Kevin Keegan had to say at half-time. Doubtless, he would have said it's time for a bit of character and to dig a bit deeper than normal. There's been plenty of tests of character for Manchester City this season. But away from home, trailing 1-0. There's just the latest test of that resolve. McIntosh, up Tom by Mullet, away by Horlock. Jensen looking for Gota, Gota trying to find Benabia. Headed away by Hurst, gathered in by Warren. Talbot and Wright Phillips jostling. And the little man won the duel, but it's a throw. Tosh and Branston aren't there for doors to aim at. That's away by Sunshine. Talbot then uh, won the ball, but has been penalised for the manner in which he won the ball. And he finds that decision inexplicable. Maybe it was use of the arm. Sunshine. Better away by Swales, well judged. The Narbia. On whom uh, the responsibility to carve open Rotherham's dogged back line now falls wholly. Offside against Lee. Howie with the free kick, aimed towards Pierce, who'd made the run forward. He could only cushion it straight to Swales. Warren gets the better of Horlock. Pierce making his way back. Sedgwick is trying to make an overlap for Warren. And Warren's gone for goal. And Nash gathers it in. And immediately looks to set Manchester City away. Nice run, but not the most uh, testing of shots, really, for the big goalkeeper. And he dealt with it comfortably enough.
done saying, where are my options? In the end, his passes only finding Branston. Little anxiety for Kevin Keegan. When you get this close to the winning line, sometimes teams find it a bit more tricky than they thought to just help themselves over that winning line and uh, the nerves begin to jangle. Meanwhile, Sunshine has been penalised. That will be a free kick to Rotherham. Steve Howitt, Sean Gotar up, Benabia, Rotherham throw. Walk. Oh, has got the foot in, breaks for Lee, who looks for Mullin. Nashes. Sunshine. The Narbia. Try to find Wright Phillips, and in the end, uh, Wright Phillips had to get to it more hurriedly than he was expecting. Manchester City in the opening few minutes of the second half have yet to look really convincing, as indeed really they failed to do in the first half too. This is all going exactly the way Ronnie Moore would have foreseen it before the game. Hits, Benabia, Wright Phillips, fouled by Mullen much to the disappointment of the home supporters. Horlock takes the free kick. Manabia, right, Phillips has mishit that one. Shake of the head says all you need to know. Did open up for him to have a go. They got it all wrong. Benabia, right Phillips, tried to find Huckabee but Swales was there and then indeed he got the better of Jensen as well, the offside flag's now raised against uh, Lee, Ronnie Moore is, well he's just completely and utterly perplexed by that call and he's letting the fourth official know and Actually, to be fair to Ronnie Moore on that one, he had the best view in the ground. He was perfectly in line. Anyway, it doesn't significantly matter as Alan Lee now has possession again. And he's been fouled, and it'll be a rather free kick. Foul by Dunn. a free kick that led to Alan Lee's goal at the end of the first half and there are similar players in the area to those who managed to craft the opening a few minutes earlier and well, again there's confusion in the Manchester City area again they're not totally convincing at the back Steve Howey probably got the last touch Nash came as well in fact it just brushed off the fingers of Nash Corner to Rotherham, nonetheless. <laughs> the 
Nick Dawes with a corner. McIntosh with a jump and a real opportunity for Swales. It was well blocked. Great opportunity for Swales to double Rotherham's money. Manchester City now looking to counter with Sunshine. Now Bernabe, but he won't get there because Swales has come back. Here's Horlock. Offside against Sean Goethe. And he scored at Main Road. He scored six times this campaign. This was so nearly number seven. McIntosh won it. Swales hit it. Dunn got in the way. Still Manchester City are trying to uh, up the tempo of this game. Hockley has been penalised. Kevin Keegan wanted them to up the tempo, that's clear, but still Rotherham are digging in and are more than a match for the leaders of the First Division. gets there Sunshine picks out Huckabee tries to get the better of McIntosh chorus of boos from the Rotherham fans who haven't taken to Darren Huckabee today and in the end Dawes is in front of Gota to clear how are you away now Bernabia. Here's Dunn. Good battling by Warm, but it breaks for Dunn. Now Bernabia. Horlock wanted it. Here is Horlock. Bernabia. Can he find a way of breaking Rotherham down? Stuart Pierce. Jensen. Sunshine. Wright Phillips. And he hit it first time, but it was always rising over Mike Pollitt's goal. And in truth, Mike Pollitt hasn't had too much to save today. And that is in the category of watching it go by his goal. They were really testing him. Nice layoff to Wright Phillips, but always off balance. Goes Jensen. Huckabee trying to turn Swales. And that was a foul on the back of Darren Huckabee. <laughs> now the pattern is much the same as that of the first half with Manchester City in possession. Still no real, genuine open opportunities. and Horlock concoct and something between them. In the end it goes to Sunshine. Tries to pick out Howie. Reaches Jensen. And a chance for Bernabia and he'll score on the rebound. Great save by Pollitt, but Bernabia kept his footing and slammed it into the roof of the goal. And Manchester City a level on the hour. You have to feel for him, he did nothing wrong, absolutely nothing wrong. And Kevin Keegan doesn't show his emotions because he'll feel they ought to have restored parity a long time ago, but... Howie, then Jensen, Benabia, good save, good reaction. Benabia did brilliantly, really. Good save from Pollitt, and that's great finishing by the Algerian, and you feel for him. I think the emotion that Kevin Keegan will be feeling above all others is relief. Ball in 
taken by Jensen. Thumping had a great save, but well, that's a terrific finish, really, from Benavia. Manchester City they have a free kick defend to defend, and uh, have only been level for a matter of seconds. Doors with plenty to aim for. Well, it could have gone anywhere. Swales was there. Branson got the touch. In the end, it went right across the face of Manchester City's goal. They do look a threat in the air. Oh, he was so close. Lee was there as well. Swales causing the problems. Here's one. Hurst. It's now a test of Rotherham's character. Sanchiai was held. Free kick to Manchester City. to Rotherham. Manchester City have really looked confident of dealing with a high ball in their area. That's a little more like it from Nash. Sean Gota looking to counter. Benavia won't get that. Rotherham fans are still a little uh, annoyed about some goings-on in the Manchester City area which left Lee on the deck. Pollitt hasn't seen Lee just picking himself up gingerly, but... Referee well, hasn't either, it would appear, and the game goes on as normal. Here's Sun Chai. And now Dunn. by Branson, gathered in by Torbett. How he hoped that Carlo Nash would be coming, and Nash didn't. The goalkeeper rather got under that. Rotherham throw. From Shai towards Gota, headed away by Branston. Benavia trying to get there, reaches Pierce. Now Horlock and Benavia. Jensen away to the left hand side. Huckabee just in front of it. Here's Jensen. Gota's made a good run. There's no offside against Sean Gota. Looking for support. Has Ali Benavia. Now Horlock on the edge. That was a good piece of closing down by Nick Dawes, who then played it for his goalkeeper, and Pollock couldn't keep it on, and Manchester City have a corner from uh, relatively nothing. How costly may this prove to be? That pass from Nick Dawes, which uh, Pollock didn't like, and it wasn't a well-struck one either. In fact, it was too well-struck, in truth. Well-struck in terms of accuracy, it wasn't. Stuart Pearce will take the Manchester City corner. Steve Howey will make the darting run. Alan Lee will clear. No offside. Here's Darren Huckabee. Well, the offside flag then did go up, and uh, again, it was a late call. Huckabee had controlled it, and then the flag went up.
and there's no need for his side to panic. Their game plan has been terrific and they've played it well. Equaliser obviously means that they will have to tough it out perhaps even more now, but they know there can be a threat from set pieces and the high ball into the Manchester City area. with the merest of touches, here's Huckabee just in front of McIntosh Sedgwick coming back to help, there's Benabia and now Huckabee looked for offside, no question of it on that occasion and a fine foot in by McIntosh gives away the corner, but that's good defending to City are not just having the possession now they are at last beginning to find a way through Rotherham's defences Dunn makes his way to the near Howie on the edge of the area Benabia takes easy for Pollitt Approaching the midpoint of the second half, and Rotherham held the lead for a quarter of an hour or so through his goal. Before Ali Bernardia leveled for the visitors. Bullock sliced clearance, Bernardia looking, Dawes getting there, right Phillips, now done. Sun Chihai makes a run in front of him. Banabia is there as well. Ops instead for Sun Chihai. Here's Banabia now. Looking towards Huckabee. Good header by McIntosh. Here's Dawes. A turn by Lee. Has Howie and Dunn for company. Still Lee. And in the end, it was Horlock's challenge. Mullin leaves it. Here's Warren now. Pierce coming across with Warren. Away by Howie. Mullin attempting to get there in front of Sunshine. Aimed towards Sedgwick. Sedgwick gets the better of Jensen. And Jensen's won it for Manchester City. Up towards Gota. Headed away by Swales. Gathered in by Talbot. Horlock then nudges it forward. A little bit of a handball decision against Talbot, who just flicked out the right palm. Manchester City have a free kick. Derek Gallagher is well positioned to make that call. Now we aiming towards Sunshine, who won it well. Gota is offside. he jumps made by Dawes as Bernabia thought about turning and going and Pierce back to his goalkeeper right Phillips Sunshine not the best ball to play to Sunshine by right Phillips and Rotherham looking to try and build something here Talbot now Dawes Sedgwick away to the right and the offside flag will thwart Rotherham's attempts. Howie. 20 minutes to go. Manchester City won. Rotherham won. After the home side took the lead. Alan Lee's strike right on half time and uh, Ronnie Moore was just urging his players to come out of their defensive shells a little <laughs> the 
Jensen beaten to it by Sedgwick. Pierce knocking it towards Huckabee. Well judged by Swales. Manchester City throw. Benabia. Time for McIntosh to clear. Sedgwick slicing it clear. Lee heading it on, but once again, Manchester City get possession back. And once again, Rotherham get in the way. But the onus, indeed, throughout the game has been on Manchester City to come at Rotherham. Pierce. Benabia. Horlock. Wright Phillips. Opens up for Wright Phillips, and he's not afraid to have a go. The offside flag was raised against Gota anyway. Looking for goal number 31 of the season, Sean Gota. Stuart Pearce went down, Alan Lee's challenge, referee had a good view of it, what's the colour of the card, it's just yellow or is it going to be red? Depends what he saw, uh, Pearce went down straight away, Lee's arm was close by. Is it going to be a booking for a mistime challenge or something more sinister? Pierce needs treatment. It is just a yellow. For this challenge. Oh, well. It was the point of the elbow. He was looking and... Well, he'll be quite pleased that he only got a yellow card there. The assistant on the near side must have had an excellent view of it, but he didn't seem to get uh, the same opinion as Stuart Pearce. And Stuart Pearce made it plain to Dermot Gallagher that he felt that was the wrong coloured card. who's getting booed for putting his face on the end of an arm from Alan Lee. And here's Lee who can uh, get back to doing what he does best and scampering away from Manchester City's players, but he ran into Kevin Horlock. Here's Jensen. Good turn from Jensen. And his pass is picked off by Talbot. He prompts Lee away. Pierce alongside him. won a corner persistence from him winning a corner off him approaching the last quarter of an hour and Rotherham have another set piece with which to examine Manchester City Swales, Branston McIntosh Lee, all poised Nash came. Got a flick of the fingers. Here's McIntosh. Sunshai with him. Another corner. You can see the height that Rotherham have. So many difficult players to contend with aerially. Posse of players right in the six-yard area, and Nash watches it go over his bar. That's disappointing for Ronnie Moore. He uh, would have hoped for a better delivery than that. 
knows his side can trouble Manchester City in the air. Hurst hit right Phillips, reaches Mullen, gets the better of Sunshine, but not the better of Richard Duck. Here's Wright Phillips. Good balance. Finds Jensen. Huckabee's made a run for Jensen. Here he is. Gators in the area. Benabia is two. Awkward one to defend, but defend they have done, rather. Branson got a touch and Hurst did two. Cleared as far as Howitt. Now Horlock. Benabia. Sunshine is an option if he wants to use it. Still with Benabia. Looking towards Goto, but it's into the arms of Pollitt. No sign on the sideline of Manchester City's £5 million striker, John Macken, warming up just yet. Put up, was it, from Jensen? Ronnie Moore thought so, he had a great view of it, referee didn't agree. Huckabee. Trying to find Goto, it's uh, away by Branston. Who's defended brilliantly today, as indeed have McIntosh and Swales. Pitts. Horlock, Huckabee, running right at the heart of Rotherham's defenders. Go to put a foot in as well, and Sedgwick will clear. It's a good play from him. Alan Lee now on the counter. Pierce and Howie around him. Finds Ward. Back came Sunshine, and Dunn helps him out, and Nash will clear. Defending by the Chinese international. to hold off Horlock, finds Sedgwick, Lee, couldn't control it, reaches Horlock, foul on Horlock, now well, he takes it and there's overhead it, aiming for Bernabia. Rather, they're going to introduce Richie Barker. He's ostensibly a striker by trade. Now it will be Warren who makes his way off the field. Lee will have a new partner, and the Rotherham fans applaud the efforts of Warren. And a good scoring reputation in the lower divisions, particularly in the third division. Just over ten minutes to help Alan Lee out up front. Manchester City have a throw. Alan. Oh, he's under hit that. And Richie Barker's first touch is to retrieve possession from sloppy defending from Manchester City. Meanwhile, Dunn has got himself a booking. And Rotherham fans are on their feet because he becomes the first Manchester City player to go into Dermot Gallagher's notebook. I don't think they cheered as hard as that for the goal when it went in. Anyway, it was uh, Dunn's challenge that uh, earned his booking. It also means an opportunity for Nick Dawes to drop it into the Manchester City area. The flag goes up against Bradston. And it comes to nothing.
just a little bit more effort, he says, and we're there. He'd love a win, mind. Cedric heading it away. Jensen's throw. Horlock. Tried to find Jensen, but overdid it. Inside the final ten minutes now. Is there to be a winner of this game? He's offside. It's been a game littered with free kicks. With illegally fouls and plenty of offside calls. Swales again higher than Gota. This is throw. Cedric in front of Gota. Here's Lee. Pierce up. Jensen beaten to it by Cedric. Chance for Cedric to run down this line, but Mike Phillips has done well, come across him and shepherded it out for the goal kick, and that is really top-class defensive midfield play. Scanning it back to his goalkeeper, just. Mike right, Phillips jumping, but Mullen won it. Sedgwick under pressure from Jensen, and indeed he sliced his clearance. Here's to take the throw. Jensen. Horlock. Now done. Space in which to operate here. Sunshine is free as well. In towards Gota. Headed away by Branston. Met by Horlock. And a second time. And twice. It was Barker in the way. substitutes on the sideline Kevin Keegan has decided against doing so for Manchester City here's Huckabee looking for right Phillips oh good save by Pollitt the Rotherham players were looking for offside they'd have been better defending to be honest than Pollitt made the save here's Bernabia aimed towards Gota flicked off the back of McIntosh and Sedgwick will clear Still not clear convincingly though. Jensen. Aimed towards Bernabia. Headed away by Hurst. Here's Sunshine. Bernabia. Nice drop of the shoulder. The shot really wasn't that well struck. Dunn getting there in front of the break by Talbot. Still Manchester City press. Sunshine. Play on, says the referee. Sunshine felt he was foul. Rotherham don't care and counter. Howie coming across and making the challenge. Here's Mullen now. Dorts. Looking towards Barker. Did well, Barker. Talbot and Wright Phillips retrieves possession from Manchester City very tight to that touchline but he sends Bernabia through and now Gota 
and his control letting him down, but it breaks for Bernabia again. And he was impeded, and Manchester City have a free kick, and just moments earlier they almost scored as well. Wright Phillips burst through, good effort, and Pollock with the save low to his right. Play is held up as treatment needs to be administered. But aside from the goal, Manchester City's best opportunity to score in this half. Most definitely this, and it was a good save by Pollock. Approaching the last three minutes now. Free kick to Manchester City. Pierce, Bernabia and Horlock. Trying to work out what they're going to do. It's going to be Horlock. Wright Phillips kept it on, away by McIntosh. Pierce back in with a header. Doors on the stretch, Horlock on the stretch. McIntosh thumps it away. Dunn and Pierce trying to sort it out between them. Pierce poking it up in the air. Mullin heading it on. Here's Talbot now. Looking for support. Forced backwards by Horlock. Dawes, Gota coming back with him, Sedgwick, how he looked for Nash and then saw that it wasn't going to reach his goalkeeper, and it's a Manchester City throw. Ronnie Moore is rousing his troops for one last effort. Jensen up towards Huckabee. McIntosh comes across with Huckabee. Huckabee's ball in reaches Bernabia. Horlock won't get there. Chance maybe for Rotherham on the counter-attack. Lee, Barker's up to the right-hand side. Here is Barker. Hurst has made a long run upfield. Sedgwick now. Mullen, Hurst, in by Torbert, aimed towards Barker, easy for Nash. 90 seconds for Kevin Keegan and Ronnie Moore. Will they settle for a point each? Well, both will say they could have done with more. Huckabee on the chase. Got the better of Swales, it's the first time he's really done it in the match. And he went for goal and McIntosh threw himself at it. That was great defending from McIntosh and Ronnie Moore would appreciate the effort of his three centre-halves today. They've been faultless. Huckabee got the better of Swales, but then McIntosh came across to help out. Final minute. Pierce heading it in the air. Jensen looking. Dawes asking Lee to chase the ball and at least he put pressure on Howick. The home fans are sensing that there might be a winner here. Their opening goal came in the last moments of the first half. Three minutes of added time has been raised aloft by the fourth official and we enter it now. Wright Phillips away as far as Bernabia. Back to Wright Phillips, back to Bernabia. Here's Sunshine. Wright Phillips again. Huckabee's the only man ahead of him. Wright Phillips scampering away. Now Bernabia. Talbot's challenge. It was a good hefty one and perfectly timed. Free kick to Manchester City for offside though.
stoppage time. Free kick to Manchester City. Richard Dunn to hurl it in. Inevitably, it's Chris Wales on the end of it. Here's Sunshine. Trying to get the better of his marker, but maybe Rotherham can counter. Lee, tackle on him by Sunshine. Ball breaks for Horlock. It's a throw to Rotherham. seconds to go now of the added time is there to be a dramatic final winning goal Stuart Pearce trying to prompt Manchester City forward one last time Kevin Horlock Darren Huckabee Ali Bernabia looking towards right Phillips the offside flag goes up and how many times has that happened during the game Don't lose it now, he says, with seconds to go. <laughs> Duck, looking towards Gota. Headed away brilliantly by McIntosh. Horlock, Sunshine. Benabia. Seconds remaining. Horlock lost control of it, didn't know it was coming towards him. Referee's whistle at his mouth. And it's the final whistle. And tremendous applause from Ronnie Moore. Tremendous applause from the Rotherham United fans. Then a settle for a draw at start of play. How crucial a point it might be come the end of the season. A draw, well, Manchester City will say they had to come from behind to earn it. And it about represents pretty much the way the play went this afternoon. The final score, therefore, all square, 1-1.